Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Khalid Shah. I'm here in Port Melbourne or South Melbourne and I'm here at what's called Princess. Um, you can see there the sign um, uh, Princess Pia. And I'm here to meet a brother. His name is Brother Arif and I think he's from Indonesia or Malaysia. I've got to check. I've never met him before. I've talked, spoken to him over the last two years over the phone. And he's one of those uh, dedicated community members volunteering goes out every month and does the Hilal sighting. Uh, mashallah, in across Australia, there are many people that do the Hilal sighting um, and contribute uh, on behalf of us, you know, to fulfill that obligation. So, you know, there's a process to it. There's a network, there's reporting and people, you know, follow that. And so I just wanted to meet him, see his process um, and just see it. So it's a beautiful day today in Melbourne. Uh, in the morning, it was, uh, it was gray, miserable and cloudy. And subhanAllah, pretty much not a cloud in the sky now that's Melbourne for you I guess uh, but today is the Jamad al-Ula uh, siding for Sunday the 5th of December uh, we're siding for the 1st of Jamad al-Ula so it's Jamad al-Ula, Jamad al-Thani, Rajab, Shaaban, Ramadan so we're four months exactly out of uh, from Ramadan uh, but this is done 12 months a year so Alhamdulillah reward these brothers and sisters and these families that make it a regular thing and they do this uh, act of ibadah and we benefit from their um, efforts, you know, that we can do our ibadah in, in comfort, knowing that somebody's actually going out regularly on behalf of us. I encourage others to do the same as well. Do it with your families, you know, especially now that we're in the summer months. For Melbourne anyway, uh, we're cloudy six months a year pretty much, but it would be fantastic if we make it a regular thing and a community thing. And there are sites in Melbourne. Uh, we're in Port Melbourne, so you get the ocean sort of clear, you know, hope you can see it's a bit of it's bright because of the sunlight, but Mashallah, we're here and let's go meet him inshallah and hopefully uh, um, introduce myself and inshallah introduce him to you inshallah. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu You are Arif? Yes. We finally meet. Yes. MashaAllah. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I can put the um, a, a face to the uh, WhatsApp messages. Yes. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I'm not bothering you. No, no, that's fine. So you're making adjustments for a telescope. Are you yes. using the sun as a guide? Yes. So maybe if you can explain to me. Um, so this is Brother Arif, and uh, and uh, he's a uh, mashallah here. He's, set up, he's got his equipment set up here. Um, he comes every month. How long have you been in Australia, just inch? Um, I s I've been in Australia since 2005. 2005, mashallah. I was in Perth for eight years. Okay. And then. Um, it got boring there, so you came to Melbourne. When <laughs> went to Auckland for a job, yeah, for uh, eight years. Right. Since last year, because of the pandemic, I need to be united with my family. My okay. sons in uni here, both of my sons Mashallah. and my wife stuck as well, couldn't fly to Auckland. Uh, yeah. So I came here last year. Okay. So, but uh, since I was in Perth, I always every month. Mashallah. I do hila sighting. Yeah, we always depend on uh, Perth for the. Um, we're always depending last on them. Minute, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. they're the last one because the moon is older by the time it gets Correct. across there, and so it's yeah. more more likely to be visible there than in Melbourne or the eastern and states. And the weather also perfect. Most of the time, perfect in Perth. Melbourne so, weather's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes cloudy, rainy. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. But Perth is really very so good. So we're it's in Perth city itself that we. Yes. Are? Okay. Yes. Nice. So What's that famous uh, Port Hedland? Port Hedland is up north. So why is that uh, we hear that we uh, hear? Because there are lots of uh, Malaysian Muslim community over there. Oh, the pearl divers. Yes. At uh, 7.38, okay. 
okay. just half, uh, half an hour ago. I pinpoint the, the telescope into the sun altitude from the horizon. Okay. So the height from the horizon, that's exactly where the hilal will be. Ah. And then now at eight past uh, zero, four past eight is the where the hilal will be positioned yep. across the the horizontal line. Right. Imaginary line. Right. So I will move this telescope to exactly where the sun is. Yep. So that's about it's difficult to see on the camera, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's where So you got the phone hooked into the to the, the telescope? Uh, yep. And then I set up the put the camera here. Okay. Turn on the camera. So that so it's not a very big telescope? No. <laughs> I used to bring the big telescope. Okay. But it will attract people's yeah, yeah. Uh, attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't want to I get it. Yeah. do it that. So, yeah. All right. Okay, well. So here is basically I can take a snapshot when the hilal. Uh, I aim for to look the hilal at uh, 9.55. Okay. All right. Hey, sorry, 8.55. All right. So, yeah. And how long... How long, like for example, today, will the hilal be above the horizon? How many minutes? Um, the hilal. As, uh, uh, what, what people have to understand is, so that's that's the horizon. The sun the sets. The horizon is over there. Sorry, you have the horizon there. So yeah. once the sun sets, yes, the moon is only actually eight degrees. Eight degrees above the horizon. Above the horizon, and yes. so you have a limited amount of time before it sets. Correct. Yeah. So. So. You, depending today, on the. Today, the hilal will be set around nine thirty. Okay. 9.30, 9.45, something like that. Okay. So, but it's plenty of time. So, hopefully we get a good... It looks, it looks like a clear sky. Yes. Uh, weather permitting, inshallah. Melbourne inshallah. weather permitting. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we get a... Okay, nice. Um, just regarding the equipment. So, it's just... Is it just a telescope and the... Camera. The camera? Yeah, is the there, mobile camera. So, you know, we hear about like in Indonesia or some places they use like CCD cameras. What are Correct. the... What is that? CCD camera is basically a digital camera, very high sensitive camera. Okay. Even though it's really faint on the hilal, it's really faint bouncing the sun, the light of the sun. Okay. The image will still be captured by CCD camera. So basically, they put a big telescope. Yep. They use the big telescope and they attach the CCD camera to the eyepiece. Okay. So this is eyepiece. Yep. Uh, okay, like you've attached this to it, you attach a CCD camera instead. Yes, and then and the CCD connect camera com connect, connect to the laptop. Laptop. So, yeah. So, and then, what's the process? I mean, obviously, it's a complicated process in the way it filters and. It's basically with the CCD camera, you can live on YouTube streaming straight away. The hilal. Yeah. The hilal. But what are you? What is? What is actually being shown? Can you see, for example? Like for example, the hilal, the moon is there, right? It's mm -hmm. it's uh, it's up there somewhere, but we mm -hmm. can't see it. Yeah. Correct. Right? So, even in daylight, can you see it? With is CCD it? camera, yes. So you're doing hilal sighting. If the <laughs> you know the elongation angle already formed. Yes. Like there's some light coming, bouncing. From yeah. The, even though it's daylight. Yeah. Like for example, tomorrow. So it would be impossible to see with the naked eye, but no. the, the filters or the process, the electronic... The CCD camera will capture it with the high sensitivity. Okay. Do you have any opinion about that? Like the... Um, some scholars... Yes. Avoid that. Yes. Because only for the, for the naked eye only. Yeah. Because the, 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 the allele or the huja is for naked eyes, right? Yes. Yeah, I, th I think the, the brothers, what he says is like, because this is like bearing witness um, like you're a witness to something, mm -hmm. so witness is a, as a phenomena uh, that you directly experience with your own senses. So mm -hmm. they're of that sort of that you can't use any sort of device, you know. Or, I think there's like range of it. Some say naked eye only directly, like you, you should look up, like Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sahaba and Muslim done for most of history, mm -hmm. is look up. Others of you that, well, the telescope, telescope and binoculars, they are still bringing the light in through the. Um, the tube and the lenses. and you're it just magnifying it and you're still seeing that mm -hmm. so and that analogy is you know like 
if you think um, just for the benefit of the people uh, watching if you think about um, a crime is occurring and you're a witness to the crime now uh -huh. if you have a video recording mm -hmm. of it it doesn't make you a witness to the crime it's no. a video recording you don't need a witness for that yeah. but um, if you see if you if you see a crime like let's say across in Port Melbourne something mm -hmm. dodgy is being done and you got the telescope pointed mm -hmm. and you see it through the telescope you're a witness to that whatever happened there so you can see the argument for and against yep. um, uh, telescopes and the, the CCD one is a little bit because there's nothing there I mean to be behold except through it's sort of becoming like a recording like a video recording you know it's not actually live huh? it can be live no no it can be live but it's still it's not direct yeah, with the, uh, not, human eyes right yeah, yeah, yeah. or even yeah. through a telescope it's not a magnification of what is there it's mm -hmm. going through some digital process and it's producing an image but I know what you mean it can be live it's not a recording it can be live yeah I get yeah. it but in, in terms of digital it doesn't mean that it's processing no because the hands is high sensitivity of the sensor yeah, but the sensor is still a. Uh, I know. I've got, there's one. Yeah. In, there's one in this camera. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So I know what you're talking sensor about. Sensor is a device. But yeah. for me, um, I know where is that coming from. I know yeah. why we shouldn't um, take the witness of the CCD camera. Yeah. But in terms of scientific and knowledge i can use it even i i have i have at home the CCD CCD. Camera. Oh, you have, i you didn't have. bring him now what's your study area i'm just curious i didn't even I'm ask IT. you it okay IT and so this is your personal interest hobby yes okay mashallah um so i started to observe the gilal since 2005 okay and um, equipped with even with the telescope i know i only bring the simple telescope but one that I can use as well, I can use the computerized yeah. telescope, which is pinpoint the exact location. Computer yeah. can do it for you. Yep. It detects the GPS location of your site, and then it knows where the, the hilal will be. Okay. But here I have manual one. Yeah. That's why I use the, the sun position yeah. to calibrate. Okay. So, yeah. So it's a, generally per month, uh, once a month. Obviously, this is done once a month. It, it's about a two-hour, two-three-hour process. Correct. From beginning to end. Yes. For me, I'm not only once in the beginning of the month. I do it in the middle of the month as well. Ah, oh, okay. The ayam will be. Yes. I calculate. I I try to prove that the the astronomical calculation is correct. Okay. So when the astronomical calculation is said tomorrow is like yesterday is supposed to be solar eclipse and at what time? Okay. Are you saying the astronomical calculations of the astronomers or the ones that are in the Salat timetables? That the Ayam al Bid? Or you, when you say astronomical Astronomical calculation means like the heavenly bodies. Okay. For everything. Mercurius, right. Venus. So so sun the and... formulas for when the moon is at its brightest? you're checking that yeah yeah I'm not when you because when you say calculations in our mind is two things is uh, the people calculating the months and calculating salat, uh, no, salat, no. Time, the the salat the calendar days. okay so you're talking about the astron astronomical calculations okay. so and um, okay nice All right so even like when the astronomer predicted a week a couple of weeks ago we have um, the partial lunar eclipse. Yep. That's also the calculation, and it predicted exactly what time of that yep. day the eclipse will be happening. All right. So I always observe that, and to prove that the calculation is already accurate. Okay. So I, so then I can use that calculation to trust where the, the hilal will be positioned yep. where i should point point my te uh, telescope to the position of the hilal exactly oh, where right. it will okay. be i was going to ask you a question so uh, obviously you have a familiarity with you do actual sighting and you have very uh, familiarity with calculations in australia uh, for the most people don't know that the well they do know that sort of aids are in many people are predetermined based on the calculations 
I, I mean, I, it keeps it's changed a few times, but uh, the formula or the sort of the way it's done. This is my opinion. Uh, we sort of mentioned it before as well that um, you know people are worried that the Eids or this is the big one. You know, Ramadan beginning people don't worry too much. It's the two Eids. I don't make a big issue. I follow Hilal, national Hilal. Um, potentially, you know, the neighbors could be considered as well, Malaysia, Indonesia, Fiji, etc. But I'm curious of the um, uh, like if we're following having a national calculation. Mm -hmm. The and I don't want to get into controversy or anything like that, but um, shouldn't the calculation just be corroborated by siding? If we come, okay. if it's that opinion. accurate, it's that if that if it's that accurate, why wouldn't uh, just simply have a formula that matches with the actual hilal? What? Like you said before, this political thing. Yeah. To be matched with any Muslim countries around the world. Yeah, yeah. But. Uh, if they use the calculation based on the criteria that human eyes should be able to see, then why not? It's a very simple. Uh, the, for it me, it's a no-brainer right. because it'll unite the whole country into one day. Minus those who follow uh, Turkey, I guess <laughs> that, that we can't change. Uh, yeah. let's, let's leave that one. Um, but um, okay, yeah, that's. I mean, that's my personal view. Is that. If, if, the, if it's not matching with the actual siding in Australia, mm -hmm. then adjust the formula. And you, if, if, it's, if, if you believe that that's the way to do like it. Like I, I already said to you, for the very best example is when the solar eclipse happened. Mm. When the solar eclipse happened, right, the, it's the sun behind, right behind the moon. Yeah. What will happen? Can we see the face of the uh, moon that facing Earth? No, we it's don't dark. See. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's dark, pitch dark. Right? We know it's there, but it's... We know yeah. it's there because yeah. it's blocking the sun. Right. But we can't see any bounds of the sunlight. Okay. Of the surface of the moon. Yeah. Even right after the eclipse gone, yeah. like this is the sun and then it's the, the moon, even when the sun not no longer blocked by the moon we can't see the moon right mm. yeah so that's the best example yeah. so that's the criteria it, of the new moon of people that using calculation yeah it sort of exposes the uh, flaws uh, exposes the flaws in the um, the current maybe regime or the current um, calculate met method that's being used yeah that it doesn't line up with actual siding at all no so and that could be very easily alleviated and because not only the position of the hilal is the only one criteria mm. the atmospheric condition like the humidity the uh, air pressure also um, impacting the possibility of the siding of the hilal yes like we, if we have so much sea breeze hazy and because of the hilal is really faint when it's really young age mm -hmm. we can't see it the, the human eye cannot see it even the telescope cannot see it mm. yeah so yeah that's the explanation <laughs> yeah Allah guide us to what is most pleasing to you, inshallah. Uh, the dedication of these brothers really uh, warms the heart. Like, there are people that are doing this, as I mentioned earlier. And, you know, for me personally, like, it's about fulfilling the obligation and doing it as per the sunnah, um, the apparent sunnah. And there are different views on this issue, right? There's, a, there's agreements and disagreements, and it is two days a year that really gets uh, affected. Um, most likely my general solution for uh, that is that um, people are he heard in the mosque they laugh about it but I, I couldn't to reconcile the different groups was to have a barbecue before Maghrib uh, at Maghrib so those who are having they're having Ramadan uh, they can have a barbecue at, at, at Maghrib and and the uh, ones who have uh, Eid the next day they can have um, uh, they can have the iftar in that way you bring the two groups together on the same day Allah this is maybe a one solution. Um, but uh, Alhamdulillah.
well. I'd like uh, to see the uh, contribution and the effort and the volunteer spirit of the, um, uh, the Hillel side is throughout Australia. It's not one, many, it's many brothers and sisters and families that go out and take their time and do this uh, 12 months a year. It's really, really brilliant. It's really uh, encouraging, mashallah. So, um, in terms of your, because when I spoke to you the first time, because uh, you're from Indonesia, um, into, and you're in New Zealand, so you have a familiarity with the New Zealand, how they're doing it, they're with Fiji, along with Fiji, I think they... Yeah, they not, not, not always. Oh, okay. Sometimes. So, okay, just, just we'll do a, a quick uh, go around the region. So New Zealand, mm -hmm. I mean, will they ever see it before us, Australia? Yes. But then we'll see it as well, because it, yeah. eventually, so it's not possible if that they, only they can see it. They can, they, if they can see it, Melbourne and of all of Tasmania will even see it. Yeah, maybe. Can <laughs> easily see it. Okay. So, but if Australia sees it, doesn't mean that New Zealand will see it. It's unlikely. Correct. Yeah. Not most of the time. Only sometimes New Zealand can see it first time. But eventually we'll see it. So we don't need their sighting. <laughs> Unless the whole of Australia is cloudy. Yes. <laughs> because when most of the time in the year, yeah. The ijtima or the conjunction between the sun and the moon yep. happen after like afternoon, like after Asher okay. in New Zealand time. Right. Most of the time, okay. not always. Okay. That's therefore because of the low visibility of the Hilal, New Zealand can see it. Okay. The best chance. What you're be saying is Australia is better than New Zealand. In most I'm just, I'm of just the joking. month. I know no New Zealanders are listening to this problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, um, second thing, um, PG. Mm -hmm. So, Fians is the main body in New Zealand. That's yes. like the sort of, like, I don't know what you want to call it, AFIC. <laughs> I'm not, be careful what I say. ANIC, AFIC, whatever you want to call it, of uh, New Zealand. It's the Federal Council of Muslim Fians is the Federation of Islamic Association in New Zealand. New Zealand. Okay. So they're the ones that announce it usually because I see their letter yes. um, coming. Mm -hmm. um, so New Zealand, does it have something to do with Fiji, their siding or? Sometimes, but not really in official collaboration. Okay. Do you know about Fiji? Like what do they do in Fiji? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what, uh, what their system, they, their they're system doing is. in Fiji, but they, they, they cite the Hilal every month. Okay. But because of the same timeline with the New Zealand, yeah. then, like I said, most of the time in the year, yeah. really impossible to see the Hilal okay. at the first day. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, I mean, in, uh, meaning that Fiji might see it and New Zealand might not be see it. Fiji might see it, but New Zealand not see it. Same. There, there's, there's the same. If Fiji can see it, New Zealand can see it. Oh, really? Can't see it. Oh, okay. All because right. there is exactly in the same timeline but isn't it because they close the equator and those sort of visibility maps show like a no, but it's depend on the position of the hilal not the equator position okay but not the geo position no no i mean the fiji is like um uh fiji is located uh, yeah but the, the hilal age also needs oh, to the be same are oh, the time zone okay i see which i see what you mean yeah i see what you mean the hilal age yeah. needs to be considered as well right to to be able to be sighted by human eyes, yeah. the the age of the hilal yep. should be at least 20 hours after the ishtima or after the conjunction. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's an interesting. Uh, okay. Then next we go over to Indonesia. Um, <laughs> your country. <laughs> Indonesia is quite unique. Okay. They have. Department of Religious Affairs, okay. which is also Islam is the big majority of the population over there, right? Yep. They have the Hilal Ruya team. Yep. Official. Oh, uh, within the Oqaf or the ministry. Within the so the team. Yes. In every position. Yes. Will report. How many teams? More than 27. Okay. But and they spread out throughout Indonesia. Yes. Okay. And the the government bodies as, as well, the astronomy professional astronomer as well, are there. Yep. So when they 
can capture the image of the hilal, then yeah. they report it to the Ministry of uh, Foreign um, Religious okay. Affairs. Okay. Then they have like uh, it's but uh, meeting. Okay. To accept the report from all over Indonesia. Is there like a one one isbat meeting? Yes. The main, okay. And yes. so all of those committees they report to that correct twenty seven. And of they it. invite the ambassadors of Muslim countries. Okay. They they, they are attending. Oh okay. Well. The, the meeting. Yes. But the team not only can report the citing report. The but public also as well. The public as well. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, uneducated people. They they claim that they can see it. If then that why have the teams when you why have the what's the point of having the teams getting taken from anybody? <laughs> That's my question as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then when somebody like for example myself claim that I can see the Islam, yep. then they will take a day off oh, uh, okay. with the um, religious uh, court. Oh okay, yeah. Hakim. Yeah, yeah, Hakim, yeah, yeah. Then they accept the witness, then report it to Jakarta, because the meeting is in Jakarta. Okay. Then they decided that the start of the Ramadan or the Idul Adha. You know those visibility maps, the, the visibility yeah. curve maps? Yeah. Many times, like, you look at them, they can't... Uh, it's it's impossible to see, right? Well, uh, because there's so many, there's, there's a few of them, you know? There's a famous, the moonsighting.com one, and then there's a few other ones that have floated around as well. Mm -hmm. Some of them, like, give more leeway, some less leeway. But just in, um, uh, uh, like, the people that are claiming to see them, I mean, is it because some people are using CCD, or is it actual sightings? Like, what's this part called testifying Claim. To? As I said, like they're physically seen a naked eye sighting. Yes, okay. even though the camera or the telescope cannot see it, it didn't capture the image. So what? It, Not like, even CCD camera can. Oh really? Capture the image, but they claim that they can see it. Is I it, don't know maybe with the mukashafa. <laughs> Kash, yeah, some spiritual insight. <laughs> so, so, so then what do we like as a you know because the there is a push and you know ulama that you follow national hilal sighting mm -hmm. they have considered like following the region okay. but because of these issues they like you can't ignore like the fact that um there's a discrepancy between you know like if all the team the same thing in saudi arabia the all those official teams come back negative and somebody sees it somewhere it's usually in tumayr or sudair that's claim that, as i say this claim and they'll swear and to that they've seen it they, they, the Hakim I mean, will, will take us oath. I, I went to a ridiculous level trying to justify um, them seeing it that maybe they can see it and a normal person can't see it. Maybe they have superhuman sight. I actually That's looked what I into said, it. They, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about there's actually studies on that. Some people see different color, their range of color is more than yeah, the average. But that's <laughs> not the, the Makosit Sariah of the, the Sunnah. Yeah. If Rasulullah said that. If everyone can see it, you should start the fasting. Everyone. Yeah. Not we'll, we one. all have the same sight, basically, unless we need glasses. But it's Correct. basically 20, but yeah, the, you have 20 20 vision. The, the, the root of the cause is the criteria in Indonesia and Indonesia, Singapore, Brunei, uh, Malaysia. Isn't, isn't Brunei a little in bit. One, in one criteria. Okay. They're together. The world, but then Brunei, I noticed they sometimes. Lately, for the past two years, they different. They doing their own thing. Yes. Okay. That's that's the good thing with the Brunei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw and I saw yes. surprised. Oh, yeah. We can. But they can. They ignore. They're surrounded by everybody and they the ignore it. The problem is the criteria that set up. Mm. So the criteria said, if the hilal at Maghrib time, the height of the the altitude of the hilal two degrees or more. Yes. Then, if it's Regardless if it's supported by eyesight or not, the government or the, the Department of Religious Affairs can accept the witness, the shahada of the Hilal sighting. So that's the problem. So, so yeah, that's that's the, the, the only issue. Which uh, at the moment they still try to adjust the criteria okay. because two degrees according to astronomical calculation is impossible to be seen it's world record 
Correct. <laughs> It'll be world record if they. It only happened once in 1972, something like that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of. Uh, so, and then Malaysia. The same. They, they following. They do the same as about. As long as Indonesia started Ramadan or the Shawwal, then they follow. Are they following Indonesia? Because of the region, the, we we call it Mabims, Malaysia. Oh, it's, a, it's a network of all. Uh, it's regional. A, it's, it's a regional thing. body. Yeah. Okay. So if one does it, the rest do it. Yeah. But last two years, Brunei different. Yes. Is it political or is it <laughs> just on a side note? Um, no, I think they they see what happened with the. Oh, they're really area. genuine about the hilal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe that's a model that we can look at, you know, like it, that uh, to have a robust system, you know, of actual uh, hilal siding. Yes. Wow. Um, so it's becoming. It's sun is just set. So yeah, yeah, it's just set. So we maybe start siding. Um, yeah, probably in about 15 minutes. Okay. So the hilal. So basically, with this camera, it's already point pinpoint the the prediction of the hilal position. Okay, so where we, where should we see the hilal? Uh, just in the center of this That's square. Telescope. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So, so this is the the telescope eyepiece. Okay. The image of this telescope eyepiece. Right. And we should be able to see the hilal at twenty fifty five around here somewhere. Okay. So in about fifteen minutes. Yes. Oh, how exciting. Mashallah. But we should be able to see it by our naked eyes yes. 20 minutes or 25 minutes after Maghrib. So around okay. uh, 9 p.m. We should be able to see it by so our naked eyes. So where roughly should we, uh, should we be looking? So with where the camera is been point. So around that height. Okay, just above those uh, towers? The towers, yeah. Okay, so roughly in that Probably area. Probably like two fingers above the towers oh, okay right there yeah. roughly there okay inshallah we'll see it inshallah and then you just bend your knees like this come this way yeah. straight here follow that telescope pointing okay no no on the top on the top here yep yeah. your eye line should be on the top there see that this is the the mark you can see it how Very high? Clear. How high is it? Like if this is the horizon, yeah. you put you put that okay. using the thumb. Yellow horizon? Yeah, yeah. On the top there, just a little bit top. But in the blue? In the blue side, but close to the yellow. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but um, uh, become brighter and brighter now. I can see the. Oh yes, now I see it. Yeah, yeah now I see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Okay. It's right there. If you can see it, it might be very faint. You might not be able to see it, but it's right up there. Oh yeah. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah, we just saw the Hilal for Jamad al Ula. Um, after this month comes Jamad al Thani, and after that, uh, Rajab, then Sha'ban, then Ramadan. So we're now four months away from uh, Ramadan. And the dua um, is a, there's a dua for signing the new Hilal. Allahumma uh, hillahu alayna bil yumni wal iman wa salamata wal islam. Rabbi wa rabbuka Allah. Imam Ahmad has narrated this narration and says, Oh Allah, for let us this month be a period of peace faith and safety and total submission to your will my lord and your that's referring we talk to the crescent uh, lord is allah you can't do that with the um uh, calendar uh, or the calculation <laughs> if you see the hilal then you can t talk to the hilal um, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this uh, accept that dua in our favor and in, the, in favor of the ummah of rasulullah uh, brother 
sorry, it's a bit dark here now. Jazakum la khair for your time Thank and uh, inshallah, I hope to come again inshallah, inshallah. bring some brothers well that we learn from you inshallah and inshallah. I hope it's beneficial for our, um, let me just put the, uh, there is a light here, but, uh, so yeah, a little bit brighter, so yeah, so Jazakum la khair and hope inshallah we'll come again with brothers inshallah. and uh, they'll also learn from you inshallah, barakallah fikum, inshallah, share my knowledge, assalamu alaikum,